You might remember that recently we reviewed Air Selfie. Well, we've just received another one, and apparently there's a good reason why. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On. So shortly after our Air Selfie review went live, Air Selfie actually got in touch with us. They told us that our Air Selfie was potentially from an unauthorized dealer of their product. Therefore, they couldn't confirm that it was legitimate. We sent them photos of the box, of the serial number, the barcode on the back. They didn't answer either way to say yes or no that it was a real product, but they offered to send us a new one. And that's what they did. We've got the new one here. So we're gonna inspect it and compare it with the existing one. We're of course then going to flight test it to see if it performs any better. Enjoy the review, comment below and please subscribe. So we'll start by first of all comparing the actual boxes. Now there are some minor differences. First of all, namely the logo is actually different. So the alignment of the A and the S and the R and the E is perfect on the old one, but actually it's over on the new one. But who knows? Also there's a picture of the quadcopter on the new box as well. Looking on the back, we've still got the hologram logo, but of course the new box has a much higher number. But the key difference is the manufacturing location, which is different. Can't see any other differences here. The FCC ID is the same between the two, and there are some additional logos on the new box. Let's get it opened anyway and have a look at the actual device itself. So as with the original one, they were both cellophane wrapped. And if we open up the box, we've got the nice blue interior part of the box here, which does look really nice. I'll also open the old one, exactly the same color blue. And you can see the presentation's almost identical. So with the lids off the boxes, you would be hard pressed to spot any difference between the two at first glance at least. So I'll take out the interior elements, which basically is the bit that actually holds the quad. Uh, take it out of the new one. Now I'm gonna have to be obviously very careful here to make sure I don't get these two boxes mixed up. So remember that the new one is on the right hand side here. This is the old one. Now the big difference is that with this new one, I've also got the charging case as well. Now I didn't get that when I received the old one here. Uh, now basically the Air Selfie slots into this and can charge itself, which is pretty cool. And this is also a power bank, an integral power bank. So a really, really nice feature. Um, and a feature, as I say, I didn't get with the original one. So that's quite nice. But besides that, we've got the instruction manual uh, note the difference in the bottom of the packet, actually. The dots there as opposed to the single slot. Ah, it's a minor difference, but it all, you know, it all does count. Uh, instruction manuals, absolutely identical from the front. Um, we'll have to have a look through those properly later, but uh, at first glance, you know, they certainly do look to be exactly the same. If, let's just take a random page. Page 24, flick to page 24. And we've got exactly the same content. So I think the manual is exactly the same as well. And then we've got this bit of paper that came with both of them as well, which is a kind of quick start pre-flight checklist guide. Yeah, again, that looks absolutely identical. So on to the device. I mean, in terms of the boxes, there are some very minor changes there, but nothing really significant. So now with the devices, uh, direct comparison. So uh, visually at first glance, they look absolutely identical again. However, there are some minor differences. The logo, first of all, is darker in print color and the blue is a darker color on the new one as well. Also, I noticed that looking underneath, the split pins around the ends of the motor shafts are dark on the old one and light on the new one. Now that just could be a part change during the manufacturing process. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. The elements in the middle, the optical flow sensor and the ultrasonics are identical and they're both cushioned by some sort of rubber mounting inside. But besides that, everything else is absolutely identical. The camera unit is the same. Now in terms of the USB ports, if we just remove the rubber trim that goes around the Air Selfie, 
again, all still looks pretty similar, but the new one has a label there. But more importantly, the USB port, despite it at first glance looking the same, it's actually different. The location of it has changed a little bit, but what that means is that with the USB charging case that you get here, the kind of power bank, the old air selfie, sorry, the new air selfie fits perfectly and charges, and I really like this unit actually, it's very, very nice. But the old unit does not fit. So it does slide in, but the actual USB port connection element doesn't because the location of the port has changed. So I'm guessing the case, the power bank is probably the same, but the actual USB connector inside the case and on the air selfie has been updated, probably just as part of a general manufacturing change, product change. So that's the only distinct difference, I guess, in terms of that. So I think the key thing to do now is to get this new one flight tested and see if it performs any better. So you're not seeing double, I've got two air selfies here, the new one and the old one. You can tell the new one because it's got darker text on here compared to the old one. So what I'm going to do, first of all, the old one, I'm going to power it up. You can see I've got the live feed from the drone there. What I'm going to do is launch it and point it at an object. And basically the main improvement I'm looking for is stability of the video and flight time because they are the biggest gripes I had from the from this, this one that we reviewed the first time. So let's slide to take off. In fact, no, let's get it recording first. There we go. Remember that the air selfie records directly to the device itself. So these are straight from the device. Okay, here we go, slide to take off. First of all, both fully charged batteries as well. Slide to take off, up it goes. And turn it around to be exactly the same shot. That's pretty much spot on, I would say. And let's see if there's any difference. So again, we're looking at the difference being any difference in video quality and any difference in the stability of the hover and also the stability of the video, of course. So now I'm going to leave this one flying and let's see what the flight time is. So we've got a warning of low battery on the screen. I'm going to stop the video recording and I'm going to land it. So slide to land. Ooh, love the sound this thing makes when it lands. It goes. <laughs> okay, so that's the old air selfie. Let's turn that one off. Now it could be my imagination, but it does feel like this one is flying for slightly longer, which I would not be surprised at because it does seem to be lighter. And I'm assuming they've slimmed down some of the components inside to make them more optimal and efficient. But it could be my imagination and it's only after this flight test Ah, here we go. Right, we've got the low battery warning, so I'll stop. Oh, okay. Before I... So before I even had time to stop recording there, it auto landed and oh, sucked a load of stuff into the gra into the props. Look at that, grass all over it. The new Air Selfie did last around 30 seconds beyond the flight time of the old one, but I don't think that this is due to any significant change in design, but perhaps more so a firmware change to push Air Selfie further, getting more flight time out of the battery before it auto lands. And that's evidenced by the fact that I didn't even have time to stop recording or to land it safely. In summary, I think it's fair to say that the Air Selfie that I received originally is legitimate, despite Air Selfie not confirming so. The video quality is identical, as is the bitrate, frame rate, and resolution, and of course, quality of that footage. The hover characteristics and the stability of that hover were also exactly the same. In conclusion, Air Selfie is beautifully designed and it's truly innovative, but as I stated in my previous full review, the lack of video stabilization known as EIS is a real issue. It means that the video is fairly unusable even when flying indoors, and photos are low resolution and fairly disappointing. I really do hope that Air Selfie have plans for a sequel, taking this feedback into account and producing a far better Air Selfie version 2. I hope that this was useful. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because we're now on our next mission to hit 10,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching.